Hello, and welcome back to this Visionaire tutorial series, New Game Essentials. In this tutorial, we'll create a cursor and an interface to control it. In Visionaire, a cursor is simply a set of graphics or animations that define how the mouse pointer will look. Sometimes an adventure game will use different cursors to represent different actions, such as look, take, or walk. For our purposes, we are just going to define a single mouse cursor that does everything. So let's get started. From Visionaire, go to the cursor section, which is represented by the cursor arrow. By now, this process is probably seeming familiar since every section in Visionaire operates pretty much the same way. Click on the plus sign to add a cursor. You'll notice that it adds in a cursor as cursor zero, so let's rename that, and we'll call it pointer. Again, all lowercase characters. Notice to the right that there's only two tabs here that define the properties of a pointer or a cursor, an active cursor and an inactive cursor. An active cursor is uh, allows you to define the cursor look when it is over an object that the cursor can interact with. Of course, the inactive cursor is basically the direct opposite. It's the cursor in its normal state. So just like with the character, we can define it as a single frame or a set of frames for an animation. Uh, for our purposes, it's just going to be one frame each. So I'm going to say add frame, browse, and then under my GUI folder, I'm going to choose most active. And what this brings up is a little blue uh, pie serving spoon. And we'll choose OK. If you remember, we have a cook and a little sweets shop that's there that has pies and and uh, ice cream so a little serving spoon seems ideal for a most pointer here now if I use the set animation center button here we'll we can define the hot spot within the cursor that's basically the spot that the user when they click that's the spot that the system will be testing to see if it hit what they were trying to click at. Okay, so now let's define the inactive cursor the exact same way. Add a frame, choose browse, choose the file, which is mostly inactive in our case. Okay, okay, and then again we'll set the, the animation center in this case, they should be roughly the exact same spot. And that basically defines a cursor. Now that we have the cursor created, we need a way to tell Visionaire how to use it. This is done by creating an interface. Interfaces are game assets that tie the input from the player to elements in the game. It can be used to do things like control the player character, or to display and navigate an inventory. So let's go to the Interfaces tab, which is the icon that looks like a little game control. And what we're going to do is, again, we're going to click the plus sign to add a new entry for a new interface. We're going to rename it, call it Mouse. Again, all lowercase characters. And then over under the mouse interface uh, part, which is defining buttons, what we'll do is we'll add a button and we'll rename it left. Now, in some cases, you might want to name this walk, talk, take. Uh, it depends on what you're doing. With in our case, the left button is going to be the universal do everything button, so I'm just going to call it left. Okay, now down here under the button properties, 
it's going to be defined as a command button. And then to define that it's a cursor, we're going to go to command properties, look for cursor, and change it to pointer, the cursor we just finished creating. And then under command can be used on, well, we want this to be used on both objects and characters. Okay? One last setting we want in our overall interface properties, we're going to set the standard command to left so that by default that's what it does. All right, so now we have the cursor created, the interface created to guide the cursor along there, but now we need to have a way to tie the interface to the character. So let's go to our Characters tab, choose Cook, our little character, and then if we go to the Interfaces tab, we see that now our mouse interface is available. We'll just check mark that, and that ties it to that character. Now, let's go see how it looks. Go to File, Save and Run, and here we go. Now we have our serving spoon that moves around, okay? And now if I click, we see that our character walks. But why is he walking off the screen? Well, he's doing that because there's no definition within the scene of where he's allowed to walk and how to get there. So that's what we'll be covering in a future tutorial on way borders and way points, which is part of the way system within Visionaire. Hope to see you then.